I'm one month into college and I built an electric rollerblade suit to get to class on time. Before every morning lecture, there's always a huge bus crisis. But I found a solution. Over the next week, I'll be turning myself into a car that travels to a top speed of 30 miles. And I'll prove to my professor that I'll get to class on time, whatever it takes. <laughs> What up, my name is Gavin Marius. I grew up in Greece. I just arrived at Duke University after spending a gap year to make my first documentary. And um, I just made this channel, so more on that later. The human car design will have three main mechanisms. The wheels on the arm, knees, and chest. The arm piece will have two main steering wheels in the front and two wheels in the back for balance. For the knees, we'll have two wheels each so my knees won't scrape the ground. We'll carve two pieces of wood to match the shape of a pair of motorbike shin guards to attach the wheels and we'll just glue everything together. Go glue everywhere. <laughs> this one is by far my favorite machine. We'll motorize the chest piece so we can have power to go uphill and overall achieve faster speed as well. But of course, before I motorize my suit, I'll motorize my friends first. Ne brebina is a bano. You have to have the weight on it. It's weight sensitive. Dora press A. Somebody call 911! <laughs> and of course, I have a remote control. Okay, I get that. That's why my friends love me. Chloe? <laughs> So soon after this, um, I, it started raining and uh, somehow I decided to continue practice longboarding and went downhill full throttle in the rain. Karma at its finest. This project is getting kind of sketchy that I even got injured before I test the prototype. Anyways, back to the lab to machine the chest piece. Cheese. Remember to always use protection kits. The chest piece took a whole weekend to the machine and the prototype was finally ready for testing. Prototype complete. Let's go test this outside and learn how to control this. I'm all right. My shirt is destroyed. Oh no. <laughs> come, come. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Wait, how do I even get this out? This is so dumb. Yeah. The line. I'm getting out of this, bro. But I have to say though, getting out of the suit was a completely different vibe. <laughs> I feel like maybe you shouldn't use this. What? You can't even get out of it. <laughs> it's dangerous, huh? So... First day of testing, here are some takeaways. I mean, it was working, but the knee wheels were gone from the start. I don't even know where the left one is, to be honest. And, um... You're just completely snapped. Don't trust products from Temu. This was supposed to Um... I might have lost a few bolts and nuts on the arm piece. Speed wobble destroyed my shirt and almost made me crash into a bin. And the chest piece was very loose and kept kicking into my chin. First day of testing. And there's not much I can do tonight, so I will just call it a night and uh, until next weekend. My Egyptian brother Omar loves airplanes. So we decided to turn his room into a wind tunnel for tonight.
What the fuck? What the fuck? Aha. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Um, you know, we really out here at Duke University with my boy Gavin behind the camera. I don't know what the, the theme of this vlog is. Nevertheless, it's gonna be a good day. I hope you guys enjoy this epic um, rollerblading content. Cut to the shot. And we're back building the second version of the suit. Fix the knee wheels position, add some straps to reinforce the chest piece. With that, the final prototype is ready for testing. First road test after the prototype improvement. Ah. Great. The arm piece snapped in half. Three days later. Testing the second version of the suit for the second time, and this time Gabriel Merman is going to help me film it. Um, it's gonna be a fun day. Gabriel! What's in the back? Okay. So we cannot fly a drone. In either case, can you hold on to my phone? What? Can you my phone? What happened? <laughs> cut to the shot. Cut, 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 cut to the shot. And eventually, after three months at this point, the project is eventually coming along together. I was definitely going faster today than 30 miles because I wasn't recording on a speedometer on my phone the whole time. But I definitely felt at some point when I wasn't recording I was going faster than when I went 30 miles. But um, tomorrow, finally, the moment's here. The day has come for me to do three miles from East Campus to West to surprise Dr. Denon. Better give me an A, Denon. The Sioux still got some issues, but they should make it through. Hopefully one piece. Wish me luck. Come on! We have no eggs. No eggs. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you about to go do? Suit on the road? You want to drop like what is that? You just I'll be about to look at it transform. Let's tear the car and then yeah. drive. For real? Yeah. Can, can you do it uh, right here? Yeah? You can go under the car. Wait, 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 do it. No on the grass. I mean that? on the road right here.
my phone. I lost my phone. Talk to dinner. I really tried to be on time. Yeah, he actually did it. I don't even have. <laughs> thank you for trying to be on time. You still messed up there. To be fair. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, everyone. Today we will be talking about the. Am I supposed to be ignoring you? Just I'm definitely his favorite student of the day. <laughs> With the new Internet of Things and advancement in AI integration, it is evident and increasingly prominent that the new generation is losing touch with the physical world and struggling to account for the mind and meaning that are the source of consciousness and science themselves. That more or less concludes this project. And um, I'm making this channel because I believe our collective future and human construct of society depend on the choices we make now. Uh, we need nothing short of a new kind of epistemic life view, or else we're about to experience the utter calamity of our own creation. This project is just a small snippet or trailer of the bigger narrative of the, this channel. Well, subscribe and stay tuned, um, and um, meanwhile, stay awesome. Finally, thank you Duke for letting me be part of your journey for the next centennial and Innovation Collab for funding part of this project. Mm -hmm.